Hi everyone, you have reached Chronicles of the Grey here, Diva. If this is your first time, welcome. If not, welcome back. For all of you out there, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that every time I upload a video, you will be notified. Happen to like this video, hit the like button, chat with me in the comments, and when I get an opportunity, I will chat back. And finally, share my video with your friends and family so that they can come to my channel and get to know me also. I'm here today with a quotionary tale, a tale about fashion, friendship, handshake deals, um, evictions, and also a tale of be careful of who you stomp on to get to the top because you may have to see them on the way down. They say there's this saying that says what goes up must come down. So here, if you don't know about Andre um, um, Leon Talley, look him up. Like he worked for Vogue for many years. I loved him for his iconic moments on the red carpet at the Met Gala and just all of his fashion sense. I followed him for a long time because I just love fashion and I used to always enjoy just buying so many fashion magazines and just flipping through them. He, as I stated, he worked for Vogue for many years, and he's also an author. He wrote three books, two of which are memoirs. One is currently out now, and it's called The Chiffon Trenches by um, um, Andre Leon Talley. So look it up. I believe it's being sold on Amazon. You can get it now. But I'm here to talk about him, and he's 77 years young, 77 years years young okay and unfortunately he's facing a possible eviction out of his white plains new york mansion 11 bedrooms and you're saying well you know everybody i guess is going through some hard times because of covid but you might be saying well how he is an eviction not a foreclosure but how is he getting evicted out of his own mansion well, let's back up and tell you a little bit of things and, and maybe the reason why he's facing this eviction. One, in the fashion industry, if anybody um, has ever worked in the fashion industry or know anything about it, a lot of designers, a lot of people in industry, when there's a person that's an influencer, meaning a person that so many people just watch and they just love and they admire, those people, and even to this day, they get a lot of items from these designers for free because simply having that person wear those particular items or talk about those particular items sparks the sales of those items. And sometimes it ends up making the designer more money, a tons more money than the giveaways that they get. So in the fashion industries, it's a lot of favors like you take this and you can have that and you know you do me a favor and you post it you wear it whatever and you know that's my payback for that free item that i gave you and a lot of these items they have tremendous value to them so it's not like it's something that just costs 10 15 dollars it's tremendous value to them so just want to give you a mindset of andre how he was in the industry and well still is in the industry where you know a lot of favors are being tossed back and forth and you know no one thinks nothing of it so he had friends or they, they're still friends so i take that back he has friends and these they were friends for over 38 years and in 2004 i guess andre was looking for a home and his friends purchased this million dollar home that's the mansion that he's currently in and facing eviction they purchased the home and made a deal with Andre that he would pay money every month and it would be a lease to own. That was Andre's understanding. However, the people that purchased this home do not have the same understanding of the agreement. And apparently the paperwork, because it's currently in the courts now, the paperwork is kind of not saying what Andre believed the agreement was. And I think right now the only reason why it's in court and there is a question because they have a history of favors being tossed back and forth, handshake deals. That's why I think the courts are entertaining this situation right now and have not evicted Andre out of the home he believed that he owns because he's saying all of the payments that he has made over the 17 years has well paid back the million that it was worth when the purchase was made. 
However, I'm sure that million dollar uh, mansion that was bought for a million dollars in 2004 is worth millions now, especially it being 11 bedrooms. And if you see the pictures, they're absolutely gorgeous. I saw pictures of the outside. It's a lot of land, a lot of space. I'm, I'm quite sure that that home is worth well over a million dollars now. So there was a goal for me that was not started by Andre. It was started by someone else. And the goal for me was kind of like to help him with his legal fees. And actually they wanted to raise over $500,000 because I think the people that feel they own a home, because Andre feel he owned a home too, said, you know, there's $500,000 worth of payments that Andre didn't pay to even try remotely be the rightful owner of this home so someone started this goal for me but andre has his pride he said that goal for me was not started by himself and he asked the person to take it down and to stop it but apparently if he's facing the eviction and i get it that you have a connection to a home that you have been in 17 years but if you're facing eviction and you kind of couldn't afford to get this home on your own I'm thinking the goal fund me might have helped, but he didn't want it. He stopped it. So here we are. He's saying, you know, let this thing go through the courts. I do not know Andre personally, um, but I heard that when he was on the top, when he was, you know, had a top position at Vogue magazine, um, he looked down on people. This is what I heard. This is all alleged. He looked down on people. He kind of didn't talk to the little people because in my mind, I'm thinking, well, he's a fashion icon. He knows tons of celebrities and, you know, the Tyler Perry's, you know, Tyler Perry and a lot of and Oprah and all of them. They love to help people in distress. And I'm thinking, you know, for a Tyler Perry to help Andre or Oprah to help Andre. And this we're talking a million dollar home or maybe two million or whatever. Um, that's pocket change to them. Why is no one coming to this man's side? All the celebrities that he has, you know, ran into over the years or become friends with over the years. Why is no one stepping up to help a 77 year old that is in, you know, distress sort of kind of because you're facing eviction. It's interesting. And, you know, it makes you go, hmm. But as I stated, I heard that when he was on the top, he looked down on the little people. He kind of didn't talk to certain people. And maybe that can be the reason why or part of the reason why he is in the position that he is currently in now. Also, um, the head of Vogue, I mean, she's extremely famous. When he left Vogue for a minute to go do a job in Russia, I believe, um, he talked bad about his old boss, the boss that loved him according to everything that i read about the boss that loved him the boss that supported him over the years um, when he left he talked bad about her and the way that she ran things and that is a no-no all the all of these industries no matter what industry you're in whether you're in fashion whether you're a doctor whether you're a nurse whether you're an electrician all of these industries are very small and close knit somebody knows somebody knows somebody so when you want to bad mouth an ex-boss i would say tread lightly because you never know who knows who and you never know who's going to say what to who and it may get back to that person and i'm not saying it's right but unfortunately it may get back to that person and destroy your career i'm thinking maybe when andre talked about his former boss at Vogue, um it didn't go well I'm thinking probably, you know, he didn't do well in the industry after that. And now here he is, you know, after 17 years of being in his mansion, he's facing possible eviction. Okay. And he's facing possible eviction because imagine these were friends of his for um, 38 years and they did a handshake deal. But now all of a sudden they want to evict them. They want him out. I don't know. Andre was not in favor of doing this GoFundMe in his name, so I guess he had too much pride. I don't know what it is, but I guess if you want to help him, you know, kind of indirectly, since he doesn't want to GoFundMe, purchase his new book. Purchase his new book, um, The Chiffon Trenches. I'm sure it's an excellent read. 
I did not get it yet, but I am going to purchase it. And maybe that would help if enough people buy his book. Maybe that would help because, you know, legal fees, no matter what, legal fees are a beast. Are a beast. And listen, I'm not saying these lawyers aren't worth it, worth it, but 200 to 300 to 500 dollars an hour to file your paperwork in the court is like, whoa. So he's going to need these funds. He's going to need these funds. I also believe, but you know, I. I get the sentimental attachment you have to your home, especially being in it for 17 years. But I'm thinking to myself, at 77, you're single. It's 11 bedrooms. I don't know how many bathrooms, but that is too much house to upkeep in your tender age of 77. I personally would, I don't know, I don't want to say give it up. Because he believes it's his, and if it's really his, then he can sell it. But I would be living um, in the high rise somewhere in Manhattan, in a penthouse, you know, with me, a modest two to three bedrooms versus 11 bedrooms. How do you keep up 11 bedrooms in all of that land? That's a lot. That's a lot. But listen, guys, be careful who you step on when you're on the top. Because you may see them again on the way down. And nobody wants to see somebody up top and then fall back down. But you never know what can happen. And that is one reason why you shouldn't be crunching on the little people. In addition to that, I also say this. Be careful about running your mouth to someone else or especially at another job about your previous voice. It is a no-no. No matter how what happened, how bad it is. Just say, you know what? I had a great time working there. It was time for me to move on. You say the classic words of, I just wanted to grow. I wanted to see upper management. I wanted to move closer to my mother or our school or whatever the case may be. But whatever you do, don't bad mouth the ex-boss, no matter how bad the ex-boss might have been. Listen, guys, pray for Andre. He's 77. This has been what he has called home for over 17 years. I think it's sad that he's facing this eviction this time in his life, especially since he is so iconic in the fashion industry. It's just dreadful, dreadful that he's in this position right now. But sometimes for all of us, when we're in certain positions, we have to take a moment back, even though no matter how hard it is, and ask ourselves, am I the reason why I'm here? And so Andres has to ask himself, is he the reason why he's here? I mean, I know there's handshake deals, but it should never be a handshake deal for your property. And yes, these were good friends of his at the time. But again, I say it should never be a handshake deal for your property. But he has a leg to fight on. Because apparently these friends have done other major handshake deals in favors with Andre. And like I said, I believe that is why the court is entertaining this whole thing right now. Because technically, technically, the paperwork does not have his name. It has his friend's name. It's a couple and their name is on this deed. Guys, pray for Andre Leon Talley, fashion icon, facing eviction from his White Plains home in New York, 11-bedroom mansion. Talk soon and see you in the next video.